So your man Sleepy Joe decided it was going to be a good idea to send another $2 billion of U.S. taxpayer money to Ukraine. And can we talk about it? On the 4th of July, why would Sleepy Joe do this? We know he got four brain cells left, especially after that disastrous debate that he had against Donald Trump the other day. Why would y'all think it's a good idea to keep sending money to this country that no American that even goes to? I can see if it was like the Caribbean or a tropical island or something. But what, what are we getting out of sending all this money to Ukraine? And please stop saying it's to stop Russia. It's to stop Russia from taking over Europe. That's never going to happen. We clearly see that Russia is not built for war against the whole Europe. They can hardly beat Ukraine. But why do we keep sending these people money? I know y'all money laundering for the Hunter Biden defense fund and all this other stuff that Sleepy Joe and his cronies got because they know they're going to lose the election in November. So they're trying to get all of them funds sent over before Donald Trump come back and be president. All right. Again, I am not a Trump supporter. I'm not a Biden supporter. I'm just a concerned American. We got all of this money for all these other countries. Meanwhile, if you go to any American street, you're going to see homeless rates through the roof, drug addicts through the roof, laying on the floor, covered in their own filth. We got a migrant crisis. We got immigrants taking over all over the place and a bunch of other problems that America has. Literacy rates is the worst that they ever been. Kids can't even read, but you're sending all this money to Ukraine, all right? Again, I don't, I get it. Y'all trying to get all of this money ready and money launder all of this money before November. And I understand if we was all in the same position, no, we probably wouldn't do the same thing. But again, Sleepy Joe wants to do what Sleepy Joe and his handlers do. At this point, he's like the puppet master. I mean, he's a puppet and people are just a puppet master and they just pulling his strings, guiding him over here, guiding him over here. But your man Zelensky got a lot of money and he's been, what, how much money we done send to Ukraine? Like 20 billion? We done sent like 20, 30 billion to Ukraine. What we got to show for it? If I buy anything for $20, I want a return on my investment. 20 billion, what are we getting out of it? What are we, again, what's the hustle? What's the, what is the point of this? All of this money that we sending in foreign aids. And please do not hop in my comments and say we have to save ukraine this war has been going on for two years countless people have been unalived um lives have been destroyed for what for countries that we're never going to visit we're never going to go to and places that we never heard of Bastan. whoever is going there nobody wants to go there it's not like it's a beach or something what are we getting out of this we invest in all of this money in ukraine that is like the 56th state well 53rd state we don't even want Puerto Rico to be a state. But meanwhile, we're sending billions to Ukraine. All right? So I'm just, and on the 4th of July, what, where's the logic? Bro? I really want to know the Democrat logic behind anything they're doing right now. You got this 97,000-year-old man that can hardly get through a debate. He can hardly get through an hour and a half debate without jumbling up his words and almost damn near collapsing. He looks so sad. Like, this is really the state of America. Imagine you one of America's enemies and you're just looking at us like, yo, they look weak out here. We looking real soft and real weak, but we got money to send to Ukraine on the 4th of July, all right? On our Independence Day, we're sending money, billions to another country. I think I need to be a politician. I am already got the gift to gab, and I already talked to y'all all day, and I already could build an audience. So I really think I should be a politician because you get to be, you just get to do nothing. You get to pass no bills that actually help people. All you got to do is argue all day and never get anything done. It's a procrastinator's dream job. It's actually a dream job of mine of just being, um, we can money launder to Ukraine. I can't wait. But I'm going to pick something in Africa. At least if we're going to money launder, I'm going to send it to Africa or something. I ain't going to be sending it to Europe. They got enough money. All right, let's, 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 let's switch it up to Zimbabwe or something, you know? I'm going to keep it spicy saying we helping money for South Sudan. Places that actually desperately need funding and need money. So again, I, I don't, I, I do know the logic behind this. All right, y'all trying to get all of this money sent out before y'all lose all of these elections in November, because y'all making it so easy for Donald Trump to just walk in there and do a layup. You literally, you keep sending mil billions of dollars on the Fourth of July. How does that make any sense? Say, hey. This is America's Independence Day. Let's do it during this week and send Ukraine all of this money. But what? Where's this money going? Where's the receipts? Wait, who's who's keeping track of this money? Like seriously, who? Where are the receipts? I would love to know what are we buying out in Ukraine? Why are we sending all this money to these places to fight this endless war? When the war is gonna be over? All right, I really don't know. Can we talk about it?
Again, that's the whole point about Sleepy Joe. He really got us in all of these conflicts and don't even know when these things are going to be over. Can we talk about it?